technology is completely changing our perspective about the Roman military presence in Northwest Siberia. Remote sensing techniques like airborne LiDAR, aerial photography, satellite imagery are enabling us to uh, locate, identify the footprint of the Roman army in the landscape. My name is João Fonte. Uh, I'm an archaeologist in the University of Exeter and I study the late Iron Age uh, Roman transition in Norris Tiberia. One of the most outstanding areas uh, regarding the Roman military presence in Norris Tiberia are the, the mountains uh, in the border between Galicia and northern Portugal known as uh, Jerez Chures. Uh, this is a, a very spectacular uh, landscape, uh, really remote, where the sites that we located are very well preserved due to their isolation. Alto da Pedrada is a very small camp. Yes, circa 1.5 hectares, and it could have garrison up to 1,000 men. But inside the walls, nothing remains. When we excavate the wall, this is what we, we found. We can see here the wall that is directly supported in the bedrock and they use uh, dry stone but defining two regular faces. what the Roman army was doing here. Perhaps they were looking for minerals, perhaps doing some training activities, policing of the, the indigenous communities. To understand better the big picture, we need to keep walking this mountain.